Welcome to the math class. Today we are going to learn about the interesting world of 2D shapes and tessellation. First, let's talk about what 2D shapes are. A 2D shape is a flat shape. It has two dimensions, length and width. That's why it's called 2D or two-dimensional. Now here are some common 2D shapes. This is a triangle. It has three straight sides and three corners, which we call vertices. Over here we have a square. A square is a special shape because it is what we call a regular polygon. That means all its sides are the same length and all its angles are the same too. A rectangle like this one also has four sides, but only the opposite sides are the same length. It is not a regular polygon because the sides aren't all equal. But that's okay. Not all shapes need to be regular to be interesting. And this is a hexagon. It has six sides. Some hexagons are regular, which means all sides and angles are the same. But hexagons can also have different side lengths. Now let's have some fun with combining shapes. Look at these two triangles. What do you think will happen if I put them together? Wow, look at that! Two triangles can make a square. Isn't that amazing? When we combine shapes, we can sometimes make new shapes. You can try this with other shapes. Experimenting with combining shapes can teach us a lot about how shapes work together. Now let's learn about the new word, tessellation. Tessellation means that the shapes fit together without any gaps or spaces. Here is an example. Look at these tiles on the floor. They are squares and they fit together perfectly without any space in between. That's a tessellation. Another example is honeycomb. Bees make their honeycomb with hexagons and the hexagons fit together without any gaps. What if we try to do tessellation with circles? Does it work? No, they don't fit together without leaving gaps, so circles don't tessellate. Some shapes like squares, triangles and hexagons are great for tessellating, while others like circles do not work because they leave gaps. Let's review what we learned today. We learned that 2D shapes are flat shapes with two dimensions. We talk about the properties of shapes, like how a square is a regular polygon because all its sides and angles are the same. We also explored tessellation, where shapes fit together without leaving gaps. Thank you for learning with me today and see you next time.